Over this past offseason, I've been doing a lot of work on distance, and because of that, there's not a lot of great courses in the Denver area that have a lot of like distance challenges or shapes that you need to throw on the Pro Tour. So I ended up designing a layout. I thought it was pretty good, but today we're gonna need to really put it to the test. Got a front nine here, back nine coming tomorrow, because we have. Rawr. You throwing righty now? Oh yeah, I'm back. Fully back? I don't wanna say that, but you decide. You're gonna eat my layout alive then. And we got cord on. Yeah, I'm here too. We still Good throwing. To you still throwing righty? Um, no, we've gone left. We're going lefty today. Dude, my lefty's not bad. So it's par 68, 11,500 feet. I designed it to wow. like have holes that I thought were pro tour level, but obviously. I designed it, so it could or could not be, so I'm gonna have to get your opinion on some of these. It's gonna be interesting. I haven't shot under par here yet. I've only played it three times, and every time it's been like really bad weather. I think you guys will be able to play it pretty well. Luckily, you're playing it blind, so I have some sort of chance. Hole nine, I think, is a signature. It's like, yeah, I'm excited to see how you guys play this. Hole one, we're playing from here. That's basically the tee pad. Playing over the fence, and then there's a double mando between these two trees, and then we're playing to a basket. That's probably another 384 and a foot shot, but all downhill. Anything we're putting on the line, or just playing for fun? What's something we could put on the line? I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrible at putting yeah. things on the line. We could think about it throughout the front nine. All right, Tennessee two? Yes. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm so down for that. <laughs> I forgot, I can't keep talking. I'll throw first, throw zone. Hopefully it's good. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I was gonna say it. That's good. That's why we're doing two. Good bando though. All right. Oh, that looks Really good. Good left. Nope, missed it. So yeah, I was supposed to go left of, left of that tree. You went around it? I yeah. went to the back side. He's too big. I don't want to shot and go aggressive. I think Ezra gets his tailor to look smaller. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's the play. So you're not, are oh, you is trying, it? Are you, is it the play? Are you trying to get through the tree? I'm, I'm trying to That's definitely short not the long. That's the stage. I'm trying to get like just short of the trees and then oh. you'll have a look down at the basket. Oh. Okay. It's par four. Okay, well, I'm out here to play aggressive. I was pretty. I was pretty happy with my first shot. Honestly, I just didn't. If you guys do decide to come play this, please make sure no one's walking up the hill. We're professionals. Yeah, we take it very seriously. We're not going to hit anybody. Be very careful. There's a reason this layout isn't on you, disc because we crisscross like ten times. That looks better. That looks ob. Is it really? Yeah. All right. Well, fine. I can still get up and down from there. I'm just gonna not tell him OBs from now on, and then call it OB. That way, I'll have a chance at it. Aggro with a glitch. Aggro with a glitch. Oh my gosh. Who are you? Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it would have been perfect. I was <laughs> so yeah, bad. It was Aggro with the glitch. I don't know if those words have ever been said before. Well, cool, your bag is always so tidy. Oh. You're just a tidy human. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it. I'm very jealous. Some of the pars you guys can tell me if you think they're good or not. I try to make them on the harder side of things. I have a couple holes that I'm like, these are really good holes, and a bunch of holes where I'm like, these are what? challenging, hopefully they're good. Here's, here's the thing. You don't need to make it a million feet to make it a pro tour hole. He's already got OB path on the left, and apparently I found that twice now, so. No, first one you just missed the, man miss the mando. I just missed the mando. I think my second one's in balance. Is it? It's gotta be in balance. We'll see. So Maybe why is it a double Mando if this tree is... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it just needs to be Mando left of that, but... Maybe so. I'm about to get ripped to shreds oh, on this I layout. I thought I had space over here. No, you're screwed. The path goes straight? Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. I guess we're scrambling. <laughs> Playing down to that blue basket that they're throwing at right now, which is basket of hole one. I'm going to take it up here. I get a little further. Sweet, yeah. Than right there. You got so. OB left. It's about 25, 30 feet up the hill. So you want to keep it right. It's probably about 410 from here, but it's all downhill, so slower disc. So Cole, when you were saying that like it doesn't have to be a thousand feet, there are a lot of longer holes here. One, because there's like I want to train also like stamina yeah. of like being able to play longer ones, but my whole off season was about distance. So I wanted to make those distance style holes. So this is yeah. more like, cool. can't be more distance oriented. No, that's, that's, that's great. I don't have a range finder. I think I lost my range finder in Texas, which is bad. It's a bummer. Just don't look at my OB stats from last year, guys. Just don't do it. Hey! There we go, pulled up. I think oh. I had I think I had 30 so plus long. 30 plus OBs at USDGC last year. Oh my gosh. It wasn't great. It's kind of impressive, honestly. It is impressive. Yeah. I'm just an impressive player. Stabilizer. That stabilizer is so stable. And that's so good. That's so far. Oh, it's so far. That's good. 
Eagle, you're so back, dude. You're so back. I may be back. <laughs> that was so smooth. And that was a really overstable three speed. I also, I call this layout Super Bad Lands, too. I also. Just because it's Bad Lands Plus. All right, well. That was beautiful. Oh my Thank gosh. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm gonna get wrecked! <laughs> wow, that was close. Oh, right off the top. Stays close, stays close. Our second hole here is kind of a tweener. Not for you guys, this is why it's not a tweener. This is why I call it par three. Definitely go walk up and like see where it is. Sidewalk and in is OB. So you can either play way right and like play it for a safe three, or you can go for it. It's like 30 feet past this. It's about 380 uphill. And if you don't clear it, you got re We've kind of, the basket should be right about here. Not the best wind to throw into it. Oh my hey. gosh. Is that a little wide? A little wide, do you think? I think it's gonna be deep. You're disgusting. Deep. Oh, shoot. But I wanna be deep because I have no idea where it is. Yeah, it's like kind of risk reward where I've never really gone for it actually. But I feel like I'm throwing farther than I was two months ago when I made it. That looks good. It's gonna, oh, I don't know. I have no idea where I'm throwing the dip. I'm just Over. That be fine. We'll see. This is one that I'm, I don't love, but I love the third hole and I needed this transition hole. The basket might not have been where I remembered it was. I don't see any of our discs here though, which is good. Oh, you have to make it across the path, you say? Yeah. Oh, well. Yep. Okay. That's the difficulty of it. I'm glad. See, I gotta you throw hard enough that you don't need to worry about I it. Yeah, listen a little better. I wasn't able to reach this when I created this layout. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Deep. Circle two. You're edge of circle. I'm edge of circle, baby. Let's go. And then Eagle is doing. Eagle is back things. Are you scared of him now? No. You're not? No. Yeah, that little <laughs> told me for sure. I, I believe you, Cole, I believe you. I'm glad I didn't know that the path was there because I probably would have thrown it a lot <laughs> Jeez. Here we go. Breaking out the fist pumps early. All tied up again. You just say to me, if I had a better wind, I'd try going over the water. I, I, I think it's man. 700 feet. It's so doable downhill. I've been watching Nick Crush videos. It's Those hard. hard. Okay. He actually has some really good videos, I think. Yeah. No, I like a lot of stuff. From here, par four to the basket that is across the water, kind of through that A frame. The first shot is a landing zone shot. You have to get like in that little island. Before um, the water? The sidewalks. Okay. Drop zone, if you don't make it in there, is the corner by like right above where that basket is. And then the second shot, you have to get over the path. Tree is 430 angle as well. Oh, well, that's terrible. Maybe not. Oh, oh. You by the skin of your You got the nice grass. Teeth. So the fist pumps and the are coming out early. Play with fire, bro. Well, that's perfect. That resistor? That disc was made for you. <gasps> yeah. Made for him to get out of the water. Oh. Drop zone. Oh, I see ripples. RP. Just throwing six speeds, 500 feet down the hill. That's easy. There. That that that's got the spike. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Drop zones are optional with island holes. They should always be optional. Oh, well, I don't. I, I think, don't right? Close. Hey, I wasn't thinking. You was I'll throw that into the water. I was. Think? I'll definitely give him where he went out. But this is also not. An island hole because it's part four. So I don't know. I don't think drop zones are allowed. I think to be it's if you don't reach inbounds, because you go to the drop zone, but you did reach inbounds, so you get where you went out. You do a mandatory drop zone, it's stroke and distance, technically. Mm. I think I have to give Eagle where he was, otherwise he's gonna give this layout a two. I'm 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 giving it to him where he was. Yeah, I, I, I will as well. That's what I would I hadn't thought about like that play. You yet. also have Eagle McMahon playing this layout. Oh, and Colbert on playing this layout, so you gotta yeah, like, and Anthony Bidanza playing this, <laughs> yeah, this layout. You gotta you gotta like give us the hard rules. Eagle's back, baby. He's back, baby. He's back. <laughs> Basket is across. I think it's probably, I haven't ranged it, but I guess 440 from here. 440? Maybe, maybe a little closer. I think it's a little closer. I'm gonna take that. You got a, you got a range finder? No. <gasps> Did it drop short or long? I have no idea where the dip is. I think it just stayed in the tree. 
Because if it drops short of the sidewalk, you gotta throw from where Eagle's throwing from. You gotta be kidding me. No, that's what I said. This should end right there, dude. Right, I'm throwing a driver. You got a tsunami? Could throw the Roman again. I think we're just gonna stick with this Emperor. Oh no. No, that was really bad. That did, dude. Yeah. For 12. <laughs> Alright, Pete, am I scoring this hole? I've done it a couple times now. <laughs> it gets me every time. Yeah. Should be so easy. I'll say, I'll say this, this property is sick for this golf course. For Colorado. Course. You said it's a dump? It actually used to be a landfill. Wow, that's cool. Really? Like, over there on like hole two, hole one, it can get real stinky. I'm punting for triple. Cole's punting for bogey. Eagle's punting for par. Impressive. He could have made the quad easy if he just laid up. Oh! Oh! I'll think about that next time. That's a good idea. We're playing par five. The tee pad is here. Okay. We're playing. Oh, you can actually see it. The blue basket way down there, it's kind of cresting over the hill. If you guys are right behind me, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can see it through all the way over there. So this path, this path that runs all the way up here is OB on or beyond left. The dirt one, yeah. Okay. This like first sidewalk does play OB as well, but you can just clear it. It's like 900 and some feet just because of this first shot. It is, you guys can probably eagle it if you get a really good rip out there. <laughs> That's so good. Ooh. No way. Oh, we're safe. No, no, we're not. Oh no. Oh, she's stable. Got a long, long five coming up here. This is crazy. Oh, I really thought I was gonna stay safe and just did not. I care what other people think, but still. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I still will be. Who knows? You think it's a par five? You said it was a par five. Yeah, you don't think it is. I think it could be a par five. Okay, we'll call it par five. You said par five. We're playing par five. Okay. Water. That was so good. <laughs> Dang. It's a tough tee shot. I mean, yeah. you take the highs where you land in short, and then you got a really long time. I mean, there's a lot of branches you got to contend with on a tee shot, you know what I mean? Sure. On, the, on the left side right there. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't hate it. It's a rewarding eagle for sure. Yeah. This is a tough green, too. Because basically the mouth there is like 45, 50 feet. That's perfect. Oh, my gosh. Oh, might be a little deep. No, your circle, you're like just been high left. That's great. Right, sweet. We'll great you. shot. Thank you, thank you. I also threw my second Thanks, shot on the path, it looks like, so that's fun. Getting birdie, these old SOBs are just catching up to me. That's sweet. I had like a ripping tailwind. Great flip. We pro to our paint lines now that wouldn't be safe, but. <laughs> you're safe. It's safe. <laughs> oh no. 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 You OB? That would have been OB. Okay. Dang. Re putting. Unbelievable. Can't make this stuff up. Good correction. Oh. Car. Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> no! Nice birdie. That's rough. Thank you. Alright, we have to change this one up a bit. I knew this would probably happen because of uh, trees growing up, but T pad. We'll be at the edge of this. Oh, all right. Your pun. Nice shot. Go in. Oh, that's such a gorgeous flip. Are you long? Sit. So Ooh, jeez. Was that good? That was a lot. 
go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Nice, nice shot. shot. I think nice I finally shot. got a birdie. Oh, get off of that garbage. That's floating though. <laughs> yeah. World Championship, round two. That was a nice DJ disc right there. That was beautiful. Well, Eagle's pissing. What do you think so far? You want me to be brutally honest? Yeah. I actually really like it. Oh. Yeah. That's brutal. I think it's a good layout. I think give Eagle and I another snap at it. Probably around two or three under at this point. Mm -hmm. It's punishing, but very, very doable. Why? You're two back. Yeah. That's so far. Up to the blue one there? No. So we are playing this hole. We're playing back to the practice basket. You have a mando, uh, double mando, in between these two trees. Play between those two trees, and then you play back up to the practice basket. Forehand turnover, however. What? Which practice basket? The raised one. The middle one. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Come on. Let me help you out here. There you go. I got. I got some good. I got footwork. I don't need. We don't need you restricting yourself today. Just past the white one, as he says. Yeah. I think you made it. I think so. He didn't make it. Ah. Dang. Come on. A lot of right to left for that stupid, crazy amount of hydro he puts on every single disc. <laughs> if he makes the mando, he gets up to that little port potty house. Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> Rolled it, OB. Oh, really? Ooh. You trying to surf that branch? Who thinks they're better at doing the camera stuff? Me. Let's go. I definitely think that second shot's a forehand. I think this hole might. I just don't like forehands, so I don't. Yeah. Am I putting that or are you picking it up? Oh, you're putting this one. Okay. Me? That's a stroke for you then. Pick it on my disc? You feel like your forehand is back too or just the backhand for now? I'm throwing some touch, some like, probably like 300 foot forehands right now. Yeah. What? Do you think you'll throw much this season or like work up to that being a more power forehand? For sure, for sure. I'm excited for it. Maybe some lefty for like the big wide stuff, but anything more technical. Awesome, so this hole we're playing down to the blue basket. It's 550 feet down the hill, par three. There's OB beyond it in a creek, but you have to be surrounded by water. And we're teeing off next to this, like basically where the flatness is, because this tee pad sucks. You said about 500? It's 550. 550? Yeah. Five point all day. The best disc golf forever. Sit down. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh, maybe not. That tree might have helped you. I feel like that's the right dislodge. I agree. Oh, my boy. Stay in the air. So short. That was great. You guys get down the hill, I got a 40 footer. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just so easy, too. Oh, it's straight. Oh, my. I got down there so quickly. How much are you betting me that you're out of bounds right now? A good amount of money. Like two dollars maybe? Like in my head, a oh, good okay. amount of money. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. Gotcha. Because I can decide how much it is, you know, <laughs> once I see where my disc is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can get to ease these now, but these are incredible. Just threw it into the hill and still down here. Cole might have, no, you're safe, bro. I told you. Oh. Wow, you, dude, why is this even a B? What do you mean? Straight up unlucky if you're in that water. God, I've touched. It's a good boundary to the hole. I feel like, but I feel like it's far enough. You know, That's pushing, true. Having a tough putt from in here is, yeah. is worth it. I agree. All right, you convinced me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Only surrounded by water. Sure. Good thing you're not. If you were OB, you would not have convinced me, but you convinced me since you're safe. Nice leaning basket of pizza. Is 
Is this legal for you? Yeah, enough. Thank you. Sorry, 30 seconds. Oh, it's so bad. A little breeze on that one. So we're gonna play double mando at this gap, which isn't super required, but we're playing to the basket that's behind the tree up there. Oh, par three? Yep, par three. We'll play that log as the tee pad. That's some good course maintenance right there. Gary A. Carson, right? What's that? The name of the course? Is it? Oh, oh, sometimes it's just shown as Memorial Park, and I'm so confused. Uh, so that would be fun. My shot. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's gladdy. Oh, yeah. Nice shot. Is that a matrix? It's a matrix. That's sick. I'm really excited for you guys to play the next hole. I think that might be my favorite hole, of course. Happy about the endurance right now. Yeah. Have you played a lot of like long rounds recently? I'm starting to. Like, I played Roy G when I was in Texas. Oh, sweet. Something different. <laughs> Playing like a 10,000 foot course. Because you're just. Walking a lot more, throwing a lot harder. Yeah. Definitely a lot more stress on the nervous system. Wow, what a putt. Oh, no. Nice putt. All right, last hole for a nine here. We're ending on, I think it's an 1100 foot par five. So this hole is a mando to the right of that last tree cluster up the hill. The one straight ahead that looks like it's forking out. It's right of the trunk there. The one right in the so middle of the open field. Hyzer. Yeah, either you can take an open hyzer, but this this like, the tall grass here is an OB line on the right side. So okay. it pinches you there. It's 490 to that tree, but it's downhill. Okay. And then the the like path that was OB left on that par five that was eagleable, that's now OB left again okay. on the other side. And we're playing to the basket that's across the water. The one that we by the hut. The island up. No, shot it's on it's three. on the other side of the on the other side of the hut. There's a basket over there. Oh. Okay. And there that is also like an island ish. It's like island green where you take oh. it where you went out. Don't flip over. That's so bad. Get out of it. Ob. Yeah, it's gonna be ob. What are you throwing? <laughs> if he threes this, I'm gonna leave. Get left. Yeah, I think you kicked safe. Oh no! I thought I was okay. afraid of doing. That was weak. Got it though, right? No, no. Oh shoot. Oh, sick. No. Yeah, you're safe. Probably, probably the line right here. No, it is. Yeah, definitely, you're safe. If you want to, it's probably like 700 feet, but you got it. Is the path OB long? Yeah. Rack. I could do it with a torrent, but not on the first try. If I was to the edge of that, <laughs> yeah. I would. I'll do it for you. I also just don't want to lose a disc. So. This is I kinda want so to far. <laughs> so. Do you really? Yeah. I hit something at Alton and it like did a big scuff across the disc, so that's why I like drew this crazy face. Yeah, you're gonna like that a lot. I, it could be so legendary. This would be absolutely legendary. Oh my gosh. Oh, the thought I got it, but it was so short. It, there's never a chance of going that far. I thought I threw that perfect. Dude, I thought you just based it. I thought you did too. <laughs> wow. That's not even close. <laughs> well, you lost the disc. You did what you wanted to do. That was and, so I, I'm happy that I actually threw it well. Oh, yeah. That was crazy. That. I mean, if you had a different wind, I think you'd do it, because you got 10 miles blown in your face. I thought I was going to park it. I look like you did park uh -huh. it. <laughs> that is crazy. You are back. <laughs> you need to throw 850 foot downhill shots to be back? Yeah. <laughs> gross. That's gross. That's a disgusting thing to say. Where is my pink one? Oh, I'm... What the heck? I went OB all the way down here. No, I'm short of the Mando. So I didn't miss it. 
Yikes. Well, I could take it back from the line of the basket. Definitely not to call, but I should be able to call. Definitely not to call, but I might be able to cross and give myself a look to save the par. It's gonna be a tough fourth, though. I'm honestly glad I went OB, because if I don't go OB, I have to, from down there, get around this Mando. I have no shot. But then I'm around that in two, so maybe it is better. I don't know. I need to find a distance driver slot that I'm definitely missing between this and, or any Pharaoh, and that Emperor. Here you go, do you want to throw real fast? Resistor. Ooh, one left. And safe up there. I think I just throw the same disc again, maybe. Actually, I really don't want to lose this in case. I put in this new emperor that I'm not in love with yet. I should have tried to throw a full hyzer. Wow. <laughs> Inches! Is that the Roman? No, that was the Emperor. Oh, okay. That was that one that I didn't care about that I threw a B earlier on accident. Yes. Oh, that's so bad. I think you snuck, I think you snuck OB left. Yep. What was that? Tsunami? Tsunami. It might honestly be your, uh, your shockwave. Oh, buzz the tower. That was sick. Pop my bag. Aha, there we go. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yep, that's the one. <sighs> he already knew it was parked. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh my gosh, Cole. I'm living on the edge out here, man. That's a great lie, at least. Well, you got a meter. Up against the wall? Yeah, do it. You'll do it. That was too buttery. What are you guys' opinions before we head into the back nine? We've got nine holes through. What are our scores at? Because I just got another bogey. Let's see what uh, Udisc, the best scoring app in disc golf, has to say about Ooh, our yeah, scores. Yeah, I agree. Cole is at one under, Eagle is at three over, and Anthony's at five over. What do you guys think so far? I like it if I have a second round through, because then I can understand the OBs a little better, understand where to place the shots a little better. Other than that, I, I like it. The distances are fair, the distances are good. Some really tight lines on some of the par threes. Oh, I agree. I would like to have played a little bit more serious. Right now, I'm just throwing my dimension and just throwing as far as I can. <laughs> but yeah, it's good, good layouts and uh, a lot of shot making, uh, good yeah. practice before getting back out. We can head to the back nine. Go ahead and watch it. Hole 18, I think, is the hardest hole on the course. So every hole felt a bit different, which I think I really appreciate about yeah, it. Yeah, so. for sure. And then we'll see if they think I have a future in course design. Who knows?